windy out there. We have cotton trails. We have uh, everybody's all not liking those up there. I do wonder sometimes. I think maybe I get some benefit from being in trees. I think they, uh, I think trees are a good shield against a lot of mankind's mucking around. <laughs> wow, it's breezy. Plus, I think that too. I think the Lord just kind of keeps everything blown away from me. I almost always have a constant breeze. Oh, you get in the garden in. They do garden on big scale. I do garden on, well, big scale for just a few people. Let's go look at the bees. I think this is where I'm going to put, um, I don't know. If, I always forget if I mention stuff or not. But I think this is where I'm going to put those, um, Oh, what are they called? Rosa Sharon. Blackberries all through there too. Yeah, I thought I'm gonna pull out that lav these lav these little bitty lavenders, put the Rosa Sharon there, so that you know it'll get be a nice big big thing. I had another one that other one for over there. Been uh, slowly getting some of the equipment assembled. I found out I'm out of empty boxes. All of my boxes are full of um, either drawn comb or uh, foundation. My mother just got a stupid scam spam phone call, something or other, whatever, on the house phone and stuff, and she was kind of laughing about it. Well, she didn't right off the bat give me much information, and my thought was, no, my bees didn't swarm. I didn't, they're not my bees. They're not strong enough to be my bees. I said, I know there's swarming bees. She was laughing at me. I said, that's why I don't answer the house phone. If I don't know who it is, I said, if it's important, I can leave a message. Yeah, that one's getting close to being dead. I wonder if anything's coming up. Uh, I don't know. We got honeybees though. Might have to look in people soon. Well, that one, I might look in that one. I'm kind of interested to see. Um, maybe we'll do that for fun. I wasn't planning on getting into them today. It's pretty windy. But. That one on the end is consistently very active. And we kind of have very, you know, stair step almost, it seems. And we're bringing in a bunch of new uh, orange pollen. Those are pretty good sized bags. Hey, there's some right there. Maybe we can get some without them getting pissed at me. Yeah. different colors too that's not the only color that's cool I'm glad I have nice bees I don't mean they don't sting me and get mad at me but they don't seem to be as temperamental as some people's bees I've seen 
a lot of people you wouldn't be able to stand here where I am now that's also why I designed things this way so that you know I could stand at the back here because their normal flight path is up above that so it's not that um, out of the norm and that sort of thing I kind of figured that into the stair step kind of design of it you know every once in a while I get ran into but they don't seem to be grumpy about it most of the time and that's good I like it when my bees are happy yeah I don't think I would want to get into them. They're very windy today. I'm gonna have to start checking stuff soon though. See, they could care less about that duct tape. Yeah, they're bringing in quite a bit of pollen. Hmm. They do have pollen traps. I might do that. Hmm. Hmm. I might do that. Not for like any long period of time because I want to keep them growing, but just out of curiosity state sake for a day or so. Oh, she's stuck. I wonder why she's stuck. Oh, I don't know. That's weird. Because they're bringing in a lot of pollen. Put the one on the end, maybe. I don't know. I won't think on that put a pollen trap on them just for like a day or two to see what's coming in and how much is coming in I might do that just for fun because a day or two won't make a big difference especially when we're having this continued you know nice weather yeah hmm I think I'm going to do that good or bad idea I think I might do that I'm gonna look at my pond trap see how many of them have got cleaned up okay let's try this again with a fresh battery so unless you've been watching my videos for since the beginning the first season you probably haven't seen my pollen trap well it was pollen trap now it's pollen traps or it has been pollen traps last year because I had so many um, queen issues through this, the season, I uh, didn't do anything with the pollen traps. But uh, if the wind will cooperate, I'll show you what I've got here. So these traps are the under hive style instead of the face mount style. So they take the place of the bottom board, obviously. Um, this one is a little more complicated than the other one. Um, it has two trays in it uh, essentially it allows you to completely disengage the, the pollen trap or um, by having this tray in and I gotta re-wax all of the wood uh, but uh, that's your uh, bee escape and or um, other entrance alternate entrance into the, the hive that isn't through the screens obviously and when I would start it off I would run um, tubes in each one of these and so 99.9% .9 of the bees would be forced through the trap and I think I ran it that way for like oh, only a day or two maybe three days 
and uh, then I set it so where it only had one tube and so it was basically set 50 50 um, and then even later I think I took out the other tube and then just let them use whichever um, um, path they wanted and uh, you know where they kept most of it but I got a little bit in that sort of thing but uh, this one I replaced the um, bottom board on it and uh, put a different you know real wood bottom on it and kind of cleaned it all up uh, now this one's a little different it looks like your bee escapes and that sort of thing are on the back side of it I haven't used this one this was one that Harris gave me last year or I got from him last year that he kind of wants me to try and uh, re-engineer with some modifications see with this one the um, tray comes out the front clean it up a little better um, and he was thinking or we were thinking that it might be beneficial if the tray came out the side but again I didn't have a good season last summer so we didn't use any traps but uh, this one's a little simpler and be a whole lot easier to replicate I think but we've got so let's see it'd be laying like that so the bees would come in the front and then they'd come through these trays is that the way yeah I guess that's how it'd sit oh I see there's two so there's three layers of screening there's this layer and then there's an inside layer and then an outside layer so they're going through two screens there so it's yeah okay yeah that would be that would be a lot easier to replicate tray yeah yeah but you know what I think I'm gonna put those two I'm gonna put those underneath my two strong ones probably not today no, I will want to do an inspection but I'm just kind of I'd like to see how this one works um, I know how that one does it appears that this one is more of an on or off sort of thing um, I wonder if you made that lip taller you could put these holes in front like that one so you could make it um, so that you were only taking part of it you know, depending on what, in, what, what uh, path they wanted to take that, that's how you could change that if you wanted to and then it's got that it's kind of nice it's got the little things to close them off yeah yeah if you wanted to augment that one so that it functioned like that one all you'd have to do is make it um, a little bit taller and run those holes up here and you could do that it would be easy to you'd, you'd have to use you know this pretty I'm betting they used a cabinet material cheap cabinet material that's what it looks like yeah. well I don't know if that's interesting to anyone or not I've got like I think three or four more of that style they work great for me see in my case I'll just take the bottom board and the slatted rack out and replace it with this and it's even about the same height it'll work 
that one. Oh, well, I would do the same thing, but yeah, it'll be kind of interesting to see uh, see what happens. They've gotten enough growth in them, and I've got enough pollen source coming in from all over the place. Plus, now they're getting planted over there. Uh, it won't be long. It won't be long before I have far too much pollen coming in if I have strong colonies. That's the only reason I didn't have the problem with it last year is um, my colonies weren't strong because I was having all the queen issues. But uh, if I have strong colonies, it seems like I can, I run the risk of uh, over pollinating my bees. But yeah, I thought I would show you guys my pollen traps. Bless the days. Mm, bye.